closest weapon to the closest target. So just remember that. Okay, today what we're going over is to get more effective punches when you're drilling, when you're sparring, and when you're fighting. And what I mean by that is when you're in your true boxing stance, if Troy and I are sparring, what you want to do is throw the closest weapon, which would be this, to the closest target, which is usually going to be your opponent's face. So from here, if he jabs, boom, he's going to stick it. It's very difficult if I'm in range to where I can punch him to be able to slip that punch, slip it or dip it if he's hit me, if he's quick and with that jab. I'm going to touch all the time. Now, the most disrespectful punch in combat sports or in boxing is to get punched from that backhand because if he, he's in his true boxing stance, so he can touch me with that jab pretty much at any time. Boom. Now, that's why your gloves have to be up in front of your face. I like you'll hear a lot of people, you know, keep your hands up, but your hands not only do they have to be up, but in front of your face. Because if he's really fast, even though my hands are up, that glove's gonna come through and still touch me. So your gloves have to be in front of your face. So now with that said, he can touch me. Now say he can punch it, but I catch it or parry it, I'm still okay with that. But now here's where the most disrespectful punch comes. If he hits me with that back hand, bang, first, man, I gotta be sleeping on the job, okay? Because if you look, he's in his true boxing stance. That back hand is like another foot pass behind his, his front foot. I'll, I'll give it to him. He'll hit me with his jab, whether I catch it or not. But if he hits me with that, like, there's something wrong with my defense. So, where I'm going with this whole thing. Closest weapon to the closest target. So just remember that. If it's in boxing, it's usually going to be that front glove, okay? If it's MMA or kickboxing, it could be that lead foot. So you have to watch out for that, okay? So if he's, if he's especially he's going to start chopping on the inside of that lead leg, because soon enough, you won't be able to put pressure on it. God forbid. So he catches me a couple times on that inside on that front leg, and then he chops me once or twice with that back leg on that IT band. You're not going to be able to put pressure or, or pivot or anything effectively spring off that front foot. So you really have to have a lot of defense, whether it's the front hand, that jab, or it's that front foot, that front leg kick, if it's MMA or kickboxing, okay? So that's what, if you haven't heard it before, closest weapon to the closest target, okay? So just remember that. So make sure your defense is on point. And if you have stories, if you have comments, if you've heard this before, especially if you haven't heard this before, please put it in the comments below. If you need us to hit up on another video and put something together, we will most definitely do it. I read every single comment that comes through this, so I'll get back to you as soon as I can. But until that time, if you have questions, if you have comments, let me know. But for right now, if you didn't know, now you know. So which video do you want to watch? You want to watch that video? You want to watch that video? You know, that one's really good. But on the other hand, that one helps the video you just saw.